What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back with a new Super Nintendo video game review for you. In this week's review, I'm going to be taking a look at Yeast 3 Wanderers from Yeast. This game had a North American release date of January 1992 and was released for a whole host of consoles, including the TurboGrafx-16, a couple of various PC ports, the Genesis, it also later received a port for the PlayStation 2, and I believe it also has seen a remake or a remastery for the Nintendo Switch, but I'm not 100% certain on that one. So if you know, or you've played that version, please comment down below and let me know how it is. Yeast 3 is instead, like unlike its predecessor, a side-scrolling action RPG that's a little bit more, you know, action hack-and-slash than it is RPG. This game's a little more akin to games like Zelda Link's Awakening, but there's definitely some RPG elements. Now, right out of the gate, you know, one of the first things you'll notice of, about Yeast 3 is this game is hard. The very first area of the, that you come into with these bugs in this cave that you're looking at from this gameplay right here, you have to just sit in here and just grind and grind and grind and kill all these bugs for quite a while, because if you don't, you'll die. And you'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die again. You need to sit in here for at least a good 15-20 minutes. But, how are the controls? Well, like I said, this game is a side-scrolling, you know, more of a hack and slash, and instead of having an auto-battle attack, you have to press a button to attack, or to jump, or to use, go into the menu to use any of your spells. So, it's different than it's for the first two predecessors in that regards. Next, I would like to touch on this game's music and sound effects, which honestly, the music for this game is just absolutely fantastic. I haven't played the first two Yeast games myself, so I can't comment on their soundtracks, but I know at least for the Super Nintendo soundtrack of this game, it is absolutely wonderful. Every time I pop this game in, I find myself enjoying the various tunes, and on occasion I may even put in the OST when I'm in the car or driving along. So. You know, it's not some of the best on the console, but it's definitely enjoyable, and one that I think you'll enjoy yourself. Likewise, I have no complaints about this game in regards to the sprite work or the background artwork in this game. All of it, everything looks crisp and clean. No complaints here. If I have one small gripe about Yeast 3 in total, it's just kind of the grindy nature of some of it and how you have to go through certain areas and just kind of grind and grind and grind to get levels because some of these enemies and that you know hit detection in this game, game could be just so wonky it's like you could stand next to a bug or an enemy sit there you try, try to whack at them and it's like instead of you know you hitting them they somehow magically hit you but overall is yeast three wanders from yeast worth picking up and adding to your collection today well if you enjoy side-scrolling hack-and-slash RPG games, or you enjoy games similar in nature to Zelda Link's Awakening, then I would definitely say check this one out. Or if you enjoyed the first two Yeast games, then I think you'll also enjoy this one as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and until next time.